Throughout the ages, there are few books that have endured and influenced the world as much as the Bible. Today, we stand before a 2,000-year-old testament of faith, history, and civilization. This artifact isn't just a book. It's a beacon of moral guidance, a linchpin of cultures, and a chronicle of our ancestors' wisdom and courage. In many ways, the first book was the Bible. I mean, literally, because at one point there was only one book. Like, as far as our Western culture is concerned, there was one book. And for a while, literally, there was only one book. And that book was the Bible. And then before it was the Bible, it was, a, you know, it was scrolls and it was writings on papyrus. And, but it was, we were starting to aggregate written text together. And it went through all sorts of technological transformations. And then it became books that everybody could buy, the book everybody could buy. And the first one of those was the Bible. From the vast deserts of the Middle East to the marble streets of Rome, this Bible, inscribed by various authors across diverse cultures, forms a historical roadmap of human existence. In the time of Jesus, the stories in the Bible were transmitted orally, later written down in Aramaic, Greek, and Hebrew. With each new translation and transcription, the words of the Bible reached broader audiences, shaping societies and inspiring generations. Even when I understood that scripture, because for a long time I had to confess with my mouth, like mm -hmm. I didn't, because I didn't grow up in church, but I came to understand that I needed a savior. And that's the thing with not receiving Christ is that a lot of people don't understand that you're dead in your sin because they don't see the immediate effects of sin. And so you have to understand that Jesus, not only is he like a fictional, like he's not a fictional being, like, but apart from that, we need a savior. Despite trials and tribulations, this text has survived wars, the rise and fall of empires, and the relentless erosion of time. It has been banned, burned, and buried, yet its words persist, continuing to inspire, challenge, and provoke. Today, its teachings echo in the sermons of pastors, in the prayers of the faithful, and in the moral compass of billions. But this Bible, our 2,000-year-old artifact, holds a unique place in this enduring narrative. Let's journey back down to the dawn of the Christian era, a time of Roman rule, societal change, and cultural upheaval. The stories, teachings, and prophecies contained within this Bible originate from that transformative period. These texts offer us vivid glimpses into the life of Jesus, the philosophies of Paul, the visions of John. They help us understand the struggles and triumphs of the early Christians as they navigated a world in flux. These scriptures are far more than spiritual wisdom. They are a rich repository of societal norms, legal structures, and philosophical ideas of their time. Even today, the Bible's influence permeates not just religion, but our laws, our ethics, our art, and our literature. This 2,000-year-old Bible is not just a symbol of enduring faith, but also a monument to human resilience, wisdom, and the unyielding quest for understanding. But this is really is such a powerful book that it's backed up by so many different neat things mm -hmm. that when you really think about it, it isn't just a book of papers, but it's it's literally the what God wants us to know. Yeah. And so that makes it when I make it when I make it more personal to me, it's like, you know, I, I need to take more time looking into it and studying it and you believe you'll be surprised at what you'll find. So yeah. yeah, I mean, you think about it, the creator of the universe there's a being that is so powerful, he speaks the universe into existence. Yeah. I mean, I can't make a cup of coffee without a coffee maker. <laughs> he speaks the universe into existence with stars billions of, year, uh, billions of light years away from each other. We can't even count them. We can't even tell where the ends of boundless space are. He speaks it into existence. And then he says, you know what? I want to communicate with these people. And he gives me this. This should be the most prized thing in my life. Scholars devote lifetimes to decode its enigmatic verses, unveiling insights into our past and potentially our future. Every letter, every word, every page tells a story of love and loss, of hope and despair, of sin and redemption. As we turn the pages of this 2,000-year-old Bible, we don't just read a book. We embark on a journey through the annals of human existence. We explore the landscapes of the human soul. 
Its narratives have formed the basis of our laws, defined our moral codes, and influenced our artistic expressions. It has fueled revolutions, spurred scientific exploration, and shaped our understanding of the cosmos. This Bible also stands as a testament to the innate human need for connection, with the divine, with history, and with one another. And though it has been subjected to countless interpretations and debates, its core message remains universal – love, compassion, forgiveness, and redemption. As its words echo through the millennia, this ancient text continues to shape and inspire us, and our enduring quest for wisdom and truth. In the end, the story of the 2,000-year-old Bible is, in many ways, the story of us.